Recently, Minecraft released a new update, 1.20, adding a bunch of cool stuff to the game. That's why I decided to take on the challenge of surviving for 100 days in the new Minecraft version, but to make things more exciting, I'm gonna live these 100 days in just one chunk. But a chunk here isn't just a piece of land, it's a whole mix of different biomes and structures. And of course, we're going to do this in Minecraft Hardcore mode, I can already tell this is gonna be some crazy hardcore survival. Smash that like button! And here we are. We've spawned on this diverse chunk with trees? and even a couple of chickens, so it looks like we're off to a speedy start. And right here, ahem, I'm going to survive for 100 days, let's keep going. But first, our plan. Over the next 100 days, I've got a whole checklist of tasks to tackle, starting with the basics like sorting out food, armor, tools, building a base and exploring all the biomes in this chunk, and then moving on to the tougher challenges like setting up automated farms and crafting a beacon. We're gonna develop this chunk into a massive settlement called Caster and of course make our way to the end to feed the dragon and snag some elixir wings. So first things first, as always we gotta get some wood, gonna turn this wood into planks and make our very first tool a wooden pickaxe, and now we can chop up these chickens with a pickaxe. Yep. Hold up. Why did I do that? I'm such a goof, I could have started breeding them already. Okay, we'll brush past that one, but we're still a little low on food, so let's dig up some cobblestone. There we go, our first stone. Now let's backtrack a bit, craft a stone axe, and chop down all these trees. And don't forget to gather those saplings. And now we'll plant all the sugar cane and get more trees growing by replanting those saplings. I decided to make a hoe and started searching for weed seeds. I've been digging around half the chunk and not a single seed in sight. I've just got a feeling my luck's gonna leave me seedless altogether. What the heck? Give me those darn seeds, darn it. Come on. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Out of this entire chunk, I get just one. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Fine, let's plant it here and wait for it to multiply big time. But for now, let's craft a wooden frame to reduce the chance of the falling down. And there we have it. So next up, I decided not to waste any more time. I made a stone pickaxe and started mining copper. I don't even know why I need it yet, but it's the only thing I've found so far. And then I stumbled upon a cave with coal and a bit of iron and more coal. Oh, and look, there's even lava down here. Kind of skipped over the night part. Oh, what? What in the world? Seriously? Ah! <laughs> Spoiler alert, no caster death today. All right, to avoid that situation from happening again up there, I'll place torches everywhere. Then I expanded my weed farm, enjoyed a tasty chicken meal, made another furnace and started smelting iron. And while we wait, check out this beautiful sunrise. Yeah, spectacular. On the second day, I began gathering wood. By the way, we've got a tree with a beehive now. So we've got two beehives in total. After that, I crafted myself an iron pickaxe and the stone one is history. Now let's keep on mining through our chunk. Oh, these pesky mobs won't give me a break. Seriously, get lost, you cursed creatures. Uh, these scoundrels left me with just one heart. I nearly died just now. Oh, the wheat farm has grown a bit. Time to expand it. Now we can finally craft our first bread. But that's it, no more. Yeah, no backing down now. Let's munch on this crap we picked up and get some payback for every heart they took. Phew, all right, I think we've cleared the chunk. Oh, look at that, what I just saw, no cheating, you didn't see anything. Moving on, I continue digging through the chunk. In total, after digging all this area, I've gathered 18 iron. Um, B, are you all right? Why are you spinning? Um, fine, I'll spin with you. And that's how I'm wasting my precious minutes. All right, according to the plan, next up is expanding the wheat farm. Luckily, we've got plenty of space below. Let's set up a small wheat farm right here. Let's make this place look nice. Voila! It might be small, but it's definitely an improvement from the old one. On the fourth day, I decided to beautify the top of our chunk, and this is what we've got. Trees growing on both sides and reeds in the middle. Next, I decided to improve the appearance of our farm, so I added cobblestone to the ceiling, planted more wheat, made a bunch of bread, and crafted myself a full set of iron tools. Now let's head out to explore the rest of the chunk. Oh, this is the icy biome, and there are some dudes hanging around there. I won't disturb them. <laughs> So what's interesting about this chunk? I have a feeling there's nothing much here. Hmm, kind of a lackluster biome. Okay, we'll dig deeper. I've got a hunch there might be a spider down there. Oh, an iron. Oh, and a spider too. Oh, and skeletons. But hey, I got smashed in the face by a skinny one. Come on, approach. Oh boy, I said come on closer, coward. Oh, I realized it wasn't the best idea to go down without armor. Let's head back up, craft a chest plate, a helmet, and a shield. Wow. Now I'm prepared for anything. You won't get me that easily. Shoot, half an HP left. 
spiders are also not allowed to hang out here, so... All right, so here we have a skeleton spawner and I've slain so many skeletons to get all this garbage. So next I decided to transport everything I've gathered up to the top. Oh, buddy, what were you doing here? Thanks for the nice boots. Now moving on, I started working on a skeleton farm and while setting up the place, I accidentally stumbled into the biome below and down here we've got cows, an abandoned house and a farm, but we'll come back to this biome later. First, let's finish up with the skeleton farm. Oh, whoa, 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 go ahead and beat each other up while I just stand here and watch you fools. Ha, <laughs> so our farm is working, just look at how many skeletons have gathered here. So the farm is bringing us experience in all sorts of different staffs, and then as I said, let's explore this chunk. Let's start with the house. Yep, we have four emeralds, just what we need as well. And there was nothing else interesting there, so I headed back up the hill and started expanding our chunk. I finished framing the platform, and now we need dirt, and dirt is a scarce material in our survival, so I went back down to the abandoned village to gather some dirt, and there two of the scarecrows were already waiting for me, I took care of the golden zombie and I put the villager zombie in a boat, I think we'll need him later. I also brought a pig here, so I started gathering dirt, and here's another funny thing that happened, dude what swamp did you come out of, and he's not even attacking me, so are we buddies now, I completely dismantled that village and seeing how many animals were around, I decided to make them a pen. And it's done. Oh, why are you fighting? I thought we were friends. You're a jerk, not a friend. Afterward, I went back up and started filling this area with dirt. Those trees started annoying me, so I decided to make a separate area for the growing trees. Well, that's what I did most of the coming day. Our chunk somehow looks deserted. Next, I dug up some more iron and finally crafted a full set of iron armor for myself. Now, let's go see what's next. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, looks like a portal. Yep, a portal in the savannah. There's a sheep here too and even an enderman. Oh, you get lost. Yeah, he's gone now. Yep, what do we have in the chest? Oh, there's obsidian. Darn, we're missing just one block. Well, at least we'll take the gold and I'll grab all the useful stuff from the chunk too. Next, I decided to finally activate the portal, so I did a few maneuvers and lit the portal. And where'd he go? All right, let's quickly hop into the nether and see what's there. Yep, well, I ended up in some hole. Let's dig our way out, and what do we have here? The nether is also just in one chunk. Cool, but it's not the right time now, so we'll come back here in a bit later. So, a new day has come, and now we'll move these sheep up. Plus, I've got an idea. Out of this chunk, this is private property. We'll gather wheat, make a new shield, and create a safe path for the sheep to go up. Oh, wait a second. Where's another one? It can't be that. We have pits here. Why is she pulling everyone here? I don't understand. And you wait for a bit. And you, come with me. Green one, I only need one sheep. Oh, what? Hey, what kind of creature are you? First one in place. Come on, little one, follow me. Oh, here's the second one. But now there will be even more of them. Might as well start breeding them. It's to build our future home in this spot. So while the sheep were busy, I collected other materials and periodically fed the sheep. And at one point, there were so many of them that I had to expand the pen. Overall, this took me about two days. What? What the heck? Damn phantoms. Ugh. I think I've gathered enough wool. It's the 14th day, so let's build our first house. Well, here's what we've got. The first floor is almost ready, but the floor is missing. There we go. Next, let's gather some more spruce and move on to the second floor. And voila, and our house is ready. So we've got this cozy little home. What? You didn't see anything. One of the main tasks is complete. On the 16th day, I decided to relocate the crop farm. So I built a separate platform and moved all the crops there. Done. We have a kind of nomadic farm because it keeps moving. There's still some free space here. So boom, farm complete. Now let's deal with these guys and gals. We need to give them a new place to live. So let's make another platform as usual. But I ran out of dirt, so I went down to the portal to gather more. And on the 18th day, I started building a barn for the animals. Adding the final touches, and voila. Well, it looks like a barn. Now we need to somehow move these <coughs> friends. It's some sort of slow acting bomb. So let's just move one pile to the new farm. Like this, the rest <coughs> we'll take care of. And now no one's left. Now I have a half a stack of juicy mutton and plenty of free space. Let's bring in some chickens, pigs, and cows. First up the pigs and spread out, oh my goodness. Now the cows. I don't understand why everyone has issue with this fence gate. 
And the chickens I want to hatch from eggs, but only one appeared. Now we've gathered all of them. Now let's add some decoration to our barn. And now we can say that we're done with the animal farm. It looks really nice. Between the 19th and 20th day, I worked on decorating the interior of the house and moving things inside. Looking at the amount and variety of food, I think the food issue is definitely sorted. Let's take a moment to remember how our chunk looked at the beginning and how it looks now. I think it's much, much better. And this is just the beginning. I want to expand even more and I need dirt, so let's jump down. Whoa, phew, <sighs> that was easy. So let's dig up some dirt and boom. I think this should be enough for now. Let's go and expand our chunk further. First in this direction and then in the other. Great, but I don't have an idea of what to build there yet, so I decided to go down further and, and continue exploring the chunk. I wonder what's going to be there. Oh, and here we have, I don't understand what this is. Ah, now it's clear, it's an outpost. What's in the chest? Oh, here we have a new smithing table from a new Minecraft version. I think we'll come up with something for it later. I can hear some commotion down below. All right, let's disperse, the party's over. Whoa, 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 take that, you scoundrels. These jerks even knocked off my helmet. Well, let's fully dismantle the outpost now. There's the last plank, and now let's work on the dirt. Look, we've got diamonds here. While digging more dirt, I found 14 pieces. It's like a fairy tale generation. Next, I realized I needed to go over from above as I might have missed something. And what do you think? That's exactly what happened. So I went back home and crafted myself a full set of diamond armor. And look how cool I am now. You could say that another task is complete. What the heck are those mobs doing there? Green, lay off. Darn. By the way, I've got an idea. Let's make a mob farm here. We'll make it super simple, but equally effective. All we need is water and wood. So let's start building. Oh darn, I'm out of iron. Whoops, there we go. Our farm is ready. I can't imagine standing here for like 10 minutes or an hour while they keep falling and falling. In short, the farm is definitely working. By the way, it looks like a mushroom. Now let's see what chunk lies below. And further on, we've got a swamp. So is there anything in interesting here? What's interesting is a witch. Well, what are you looking at? Oh, ouch, get lost. Haha, <laughs> what's this, fog? Oh no, just clouds. Anyway, I got tired of sitting around, so off you go. Thanks. Oh, here's a frog. I'm definitely taking you home. And we'll do it the same way as with the others. Just bring her up. And if you weren't so slow, you would be priceless. Come on in. Like a boss. Oh, welcome, now you're my pet. Also, I've got a sheep living here, so meat, frog, sheep, sheep, frog. Next, I decided to make myself a diamond pickaxe. Honestly, I don't know why only now, but never mind. And now that we have a diamond pickaxe, let's move our portal closer to home. Done. And now I want to expand our chunk even more. So let's move the tree farm further away and bam, like nothing happened. And trees now, I don't even know where to put them all. I'm making a diamond axe and platform number, I don't know, 53 million. And I present to you the new tree farm. It's three times larger than the old one, but just as efficient. <laughs> and we're still exploring our trunk in the same way. What's next on the agenda? Oh, a cave. And it's got treasures too. Well, it looks like I've gathered everything. Now let's see what's down below. Oh, a village. Hello, golem. Oh, and there are villagers. Three of them, in fact. Let's see what's in the chest. Yep, not much. The sand here looks really strange. To dig it up, I need a shovel. Let's take care of the golem. I need that iron. Sorry, golem. <laughs> All right, we're back home, and how do you make this broom? Like this, nope, or maybe like this, nope, again. Oh, like this, and what does it do? Well, let's sweep the house. Okay, I'm getting, and by the way, it turns out it's not a broom, it's a brush. With it, you can dig up all sorts of, uh, nothing here. Also nothing here to nothing. It seems to be a defective or the sand is defective. Oh, another golem, but I don't want to kill it. We have villagers here, so let's make a villager farm and then an iron farm. So as always, we'll build a safe path upward. And let's start moving them. Get to work, guys. Hey, let's be careful in there, one by one. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Um, and what are you doing here? Get lost. So we're up, but they seem to like my house. No, no, guys, this is my place, and yours will be here. 
Come on, guys, let's head into your shed. <laughs> I mean, house. Well, the homes are here, and now let's make the villager farm. Off we go for resources. Froggy, how did you escape? Just in case, I'll do it like this. And I hope you'll throw yourself from the cliff. I'm watching you. All right, I've gathered everything, so let's begin construction. And for the last detail, I'm short on redstone, so I went down, dug up some redstone, and added the final touches. Voila, the villager farm is ready. It's very simple. The villagers work and engage in merging, like right now. And when a baby is born, they end up here, and that's when I pick them up and take them to where they have to be. And what did you think, that storks deliver babies? No, it's all me. While they're busy breeding, let's go and explore the chunk further. Here, I've decided that we could use some arrows. And what do we have here? What biome? Can't be, there's a camel. Well, how did you get here? Let me guess, you fell down from the mountain? <laughs> did you think you could? Uh, okay, well, I guess you decided to lie down. Next, I decided to help the camel get back to its biome. What are you lying down for? Get up, we have about 20 more steps to climb. Whoa, what's green? No, not a camel. Now I'll take you out. And here's your treat. Yeah, for you. I'll cover up this hole. And what, hey, what is going on here? All right, the camel is waiting for its time and I went to explore the chunk further. So as we've already figured out, we have a woodland mansion here with three of those. Oh, what, I accidentally fell. Oh, okay, that was easy. But I have a feeling that this won't be my last encounter with these troublemakers. Hopefully I'll survive this mansion. What do we have in the chest? Oh, iron and a diamond hoe. And here we have, oh, a name tag, just what I needed, zombie. And inside hid the main pillager. And what's on the side? Okay, uh, there's nothing interesting here. Can't be. Whoa, I managed to get a totem of undying. <laughs> Whoops, pumpkins. I'll collect some and also gather all the dirt. There's also some sort of passage here, like a whole maze. The stairs here go up and down. Oh, a chest. And here's another smithing template and two golden apples. Next, I returned home, laid out all the items, and decided to put the name tag on our frog. And the only name that came to mind was Pepe. So now we have a frog, just like in that popular meme. Then I decided to sleep, and the next day, I set out for the nether. But those darn skeletons were already waiting for me there. First, I'll probably go down. Here we have a warped forest, or as they call it. I'll gather materials here. Well, let's move on. There doesn't seem to be anything below, so I'll head upward. Piggy, don't bother me. You can tell me what's down there later. Next, we have a crimson forest with lots of zombie piglins. I'll gather materials here and keep going. And here we have... I said here we have a warped forest again, nothing interesting. Here's the Soul Sand Valley. Further, a cave with various loot. Above, I assume, is a bastion. I can imagine how many mobs will be there. Please don't kill me. Oh wait, there's nobody here. Then you heard nothing. And there's also nothing interesting in the chest. And the last biome in the nether is the nether fortress. And the only special thing here is a blaze spawner. Oh, I get it, I'll come back here later. Oops, got hit by a stupid jellyfish. I returned and whoa, guys, what's with this party? Laying out all the things I acquired, a great idea came to my mind to build a custom biomes using the ones we found below. So add another item to our to-do list. And the first thing to do is to make even more platforms and making a crooked passage. And we have even more platform. And the first biome we'll move is the desert. So let's start demolishing this biome. Camel, are you trying to get my attention? Yeah, I'll think about it, about moving you to. Oh, here's how much sand I've gathered. All right, where will our desert biome be? Let's have it here. Haters, back off! So next I started building the desert biome. And here I decided to create various structures related to the desert, a dungeon, a well, and an oasis. And to give this place uniqueness, I decided to bring in the same camel. Welcome, buddy, this is your new home. And I almost forgot about the interior design of the dungeon, so I did it like this. Ugh, what? Hey! It looks pretty cool, as does the entire biome. Next, I want to make a nether biome and build it right here. So, I went to the nether and realized that I'm a complete fool. I don't have a silk touch pickaxe. And to get a silk touch, I started working on an enchantment table and spent another two days on it. <sighs> well, it seems done. Now to enchant the pickaxe, I need lapis lazuli, <laughs> which of course I don't have. And now I have, and even some diamonds. I'll repair the pickaxe and try to get silk touch. After a million attempts, I finally got it. 
And voila! Look at this fantastic pickaxe! You won't have anything like this. So next I returned to the nether and started collecting various types of nylium. Also, didn't forget about netherite blocks and other blocks from the nether fortress. On the 45th day, I started building a platform with the nether biome. I decided to create something where two different biomes met with lava, and for safe passage to build a bridge, there you go. It's beautiful. Finally done with the nether, and now we're going to explore the chunk. And here we have maybe a diamond biome? Holy... Uh, and here's an ocean. What interesting things do we have here? Well, ocean monument. That's a given. A shipwreck underwater. Not just one. Wait, how am I standing here? Some Minecraft magic? Oh, and how could I forget about you? I think I can loot here. I'll start with a shipwreck. What's inside? A chest? In the chest, treasures. Oh, I was standing on the ruins. And here's another chest with nonsense inside. I'll bury it back. And also, there's this strange sand here. So I went back for the brush, and let's try digging again. I hope this time at least I'll find so- Oh, oops! I dug up a piece of gold. Another one here, and here, um... What's this, a wooden hoe? I'll shove it in the chest, maybe someone else will find it. And only one left... Oh, wow, a sniffer egg from that funny mob in the new version. So I immediately went back and decided to make a sniffer pen right here. Boom! On the internet, they say that the egg takes about 20 minutes to hatch. Wow, it's huge! Almost half my size! So while it's hatching, let's do other things. For example, let's go back to exploring the chunk. Well, what's next? Next we have... the jungle. Well, it's called a jungle, but there's only half a biome of it. The rest is taken up by a dungeon. Let's gather all the interesting things. There's one thing I'd like to check. Whoa, bamboo planks. They look almost the same as regular ones. All right, let's not get distracted. Oh, right, traps. Almost forgot about them. In the chest, I found two more smithing's templates. If I'm not mistaken, there should be another chest here. Um, yes, it's there, it, but it's full of junk. And next, I think it's time to expand our so-called biome museum. So I tore down half of the dungeon, gathered all the wood and dirt. Ahem. <clears throat> Dude, you dug yourself a grave. We're on the surface, and how's our little egg doing? Oh, it's already grown, you're such a cool little guy. You've just been born and you're already like half my size, and so you have something to smell here. I've grown some grass for you. All right, have fun, and I'm off to do my stuff. Next up, we have the jungle. Here I planted these big trees, planted a lot of bamboo. In the center, I made a mini version of a dungeon, and I built these cool little houses on the trees. Wow, it looks amazing, just so cool. And now I want to build a huge aquarium, an ocean biome. So let's gather all this stuff. And before I start building, I decided to make even more frames for our biomes. Well, now let's get to the ocean biome. I want our aquarium to be frameless, meaning without walls. Oh, whoa, whoa, how you've grown! Now you're like three of me! Woohoo! This will be a memory for us. And before I start building, I forgot about the main resource, sand. I also gathered some sandstone. Then I returned home and started smelting the sand. Because I want the glass in our aquarium to be made from glass blocks. Here it is, ready. Probably the most beautiful biome I've built. Now from my balcony, I can see this huge aquarium. And now let's go further. What's next? Oh, and here we have it. The cherry biome from the new version. There's a pig and a horse here. The interesting thing is the trees. Minecraft designers really outdid themselves. They created such a cool effect on these trees. Let's chop down a few. Wow, that's amazing. Next, I'm thinking I'll definitely do something with this wood. I can't stop admiring this effect. There are also some things down here like flowers or something like that. They're easy to pick. As always, let's gather everything we can. Ah! And let's head back up. Well, let's make bets. How many villagers spawn during this time? I bet there are 100 of them. Okay, just kidding. They're not made of stone. And how many do we have here? I can't even count, but I think there should be enough to start building farms. So let's make the first farm, specifically an automatic food farm. I'm tired of gathering food myself. Let others do the work for me. So to start, let's chop some wood because I think our farm will be three stories high. Then we move on to building the automatic food farm. Don't ask where my helmet is. Now we need to create a mechanism for the automatic farm, so let's quickly gather the necessary materials and set them up like this. Well, something like this. And now begins the most fun part. We need to move the villagers to their places. Here, here, and here. Let's launch the Minecraft. Next, we'll lure them with workstations. Come on, come on, buddy. Here's a workstation. I'm asking you. Please don't fall. The first one is almost in place. Come on, buddy. Oh, well done. Here's a care for you. Now work. And I'm off to get the others. So for the next two days, I was busy moving four more workers who absolutely didn't want to cooperate.
Without you, little troublemakers, nothing works, right? I almost got the last villager in, and... What's going on here? It seems a phantom also wants to work on me. That's it, get out of here. Now everyone's in their places. I think we can check the chest now. And here we have, oh, a whopping 40 carrots. And if you're giving me so many carrots, then take this sack of potatoes. Next, I decided to wait until the end of the day and see how much food I'll have. Let's take a look. Oh, well, I've gathered some potatoes. So our farm is fully operational and slowly bringing us some food. Next, let's build a trading hall and an iron farm. We don't have many resources, so let's combine these farms into one building. To do that, let's build another platform. Let's gather some more materials and start by building the iron farm. The iron farm is almost ready, but we have a few green problems. So quickly break the block and run, run, run. Oh, the creeper, stay away from me. Okay, the creeper's gone. So the villagers are already asleep and now let's do this. Are you serious? I just wanted to say that we're going to test the farm and then this guy spawns. And now he's on fire and now we have our iron. A whole three pieces of it. But I decided to conduct the test anyway. So I stood there for about 10 minutes. Dude, I already have a mob farm, so get out of here. And now I won't have any iron problems. So the iron farm works perfectly. Wait, what are these cats doing here? Welcome new residents of the Lancaster village. Now let's work on the trading hall. So it will be a typical trading hall. Zombies will be running behind and villagers will be trading in front. Now let's gather some workstation blocks and some mechanisms. But I still lack a brewing stand because I haven't killed any blazes yet. First, let's finish the trading hall. Well, it seems we already have zombies here because one spawned due to lack of light here. So only villagers are left. The first one is almost in place, but this brat doesn't want to go down. Why don't you want to go down? Oh, there are zombies down there. All right, I'll have to kill them. Oops, now he got in and the next one got in oh, and all the others as well. Voila. And now before we fill in everything else, let's go down and check out the next biome. And here we have a lush cave. Oops, I can already see a, oh, what? A skeleton. I'll take care of you right away, handsome. And we'll mine all the diamonds we see. Also, just in case, I collected various resources from the biome and started to climb back up. Now, my axolotl friend, you'll live in my aquarium. I hope you'll like it here. Next, I repaired all the armor, enchanted a few more tools, and set off the nether to finish our trading hall. I'm here. Oh, there's that guy too. Here, take this, you creature. Oh, darn, because of this cursed spawner, there are so many of them here. I'm really curious how I'm still alive. Forget it, I need to close it off and light it up. This clearly isn't helping. Ah, need more soul torches. Oh, no, 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 no. So I went back for some food and finally managed to prevent those pesky spawns forever. Hooray, we did it. And now I got an idea to make a blaze farm. So for the next 15 minutes, that's what I was working on. While building, I heard a strange sound. Yes, was that a chicken? Um, all right then. The farm is almost done. Just need to clear out the soul torches. And as always, it's... Oh, it hurts so much. I hate you all. Well, there we go, and almost done. <sighs> Darn blazes. Oh, there are quite a lot of them now. The next few minutes, I was smashing blazes with a blaze rod. Gathered 21 blaze rods. And as I was leaving the nether, I met a strinder, which I decided to take with me and place it in our nether biome. Next, I made two brewing stands, one for myself and the other for the trading hall. And now we'll bring the villagers here. Oh, -ho, there are even more of them now. Guys, you really outdid yourselves. And off we go to explore the next biome. Oh, here we have a calcite. There might be a warden here, so we need to be extremely careful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. I hope I can quietly open the chest without the warden coming after me. Well, let's go. Oh, no, darn it. Oh, no, 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 please, no. Oh, no, he's coming after me. Go get, go get lost. All right, I got lucky. Let's climb up the hill and think about what to do next. We got to somehow loot this chunk, but it's down below, and we got to figure out how to... Oh, 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 whoa, what the? Let's go, let's go. Let's get out of here. All right, cool. While he's up there, I'm going to loot in this chest. What the heck, man? Now there are two of them. Okay, nobody's on top. The effect wore off on me, so until the warning shows up, we got to break all these skulk streakers, guys. So we break them, and nothing's going to stop us. I said we break them, and nothing's going to stop us. I feel like I'm about to get whacked in the face any second now. Later, loser. You didn't make it in time. So I waited until he disappeared. Yeah, go ahead and growl all you want, and you can't do anything to me. And now, finally, I can finish looting the chest where we have... Oh, yeah, smithing's template. <laughs> and an enchantment. 
enchanted hoe? Seriously? This could be added as an achievement. Something like finding an enchanted hoe in the warden's possession? Pretty cool. Next, I enjoyed the process of collecting various skulk blocks and started heading back. Tell me you can't do anything, I'm in water. Get out of my face. Sniffer, what are you sniffing out there? And what's this? Some kind of torch flower? I wonder if I can plant this. Seems like I can. I don't even know why I did that, but whatever. Then I spotted a zombie, and he seemed eager to become part of the training hall. And I'm a kind person, so I started fulfilling all of the zombie's requests. So first of all, he asked for a name, and I came up with Michael Jackson. There you go. Friend, say hello to Michael Jackson, and now he's gonna haunt you. Yeah, Michael, come on in. And welcome, Michael, you officially work for me now. And now we need to level up our training hall. First, let's see if it works. Oops, there you go. Michael did his thing and he turned into a zombie. Now to cure him and get maximum discounts, we need to make a weakness potion. For that, we need a fermented spider eye. I only have one regular eye. And while I was rummaging through the chest, our flower grew and I placed it right in my house. Then I went on a search for spiders and once again got smacked in the face. Also in the swamps, I gathered mushrooms and started making potions. I'm such a chemist that I'm worried he might die. Well, um, I really don't know, but something's definitely going on with him. But for now, let's look for more apples because I only had one that I found while exploring one of the biomes. Oh, he transformed. Then I collected some more gold, crafted golden apples, and all of you are about to become little zombies. Pom, pom, pom. So for the next two days, I worked on leveling up our trading hall to the max. And finally, the trading hall is complete. I leveled up each villager as much as possible and gathered a bunch of stuff I don't need. Meanwhile, our esteemed axolotl decided to escape. Quite silly. So let's get back to the biomes. We've got the ocean, jungle, desert, and the nether. Next, I want to build a cherry biome. So we'll gather all the pink stuff we've collected, fill up this platform with dirt, and start building the cherry biome from the new Minecraft 1.20 update. What a beauty we've got here. Really nice trees. A beautiful campfire. Not so beautiful. Oh, darn it. Whoops, it's like nothing happened here. By the way, forgot to place a lamp here. So now the cherry biome is definitely ready. Then I looked at the cherry wood block and I felt like using it to decorate the inside of our house. Just like that, this effect works even here. And then let's expand the chunk even more. This time I don't want to build farms. I'll create a huge village for these dudes. So let's roll for more dirt. I haven't dug here yet. Oh, sorry, I'll need to move you up here as well. So let's gather all the dirt from this chunk. Dirt's done. All right, now let's get building the village. So next I started gathering the necessary resources and realized I was out of cobblestone. Darn it. So I headed to the caves, dug up more cobblestone, made a platform near the training hall, and began building regular houses with a standard Minecraft generation. I also realized I'm no architect. Ah, that's better. And then I started the process of populating the villagers. All right, guys, time to evacuate. Okay, that didn't work. So let's just transport them by boat. And now our village is fully populated. Priest, farmer, blacksmith, and fisherman. By the way, what kind of fisherman are you if you don't even have a little pond? But now we'll fix that. There, now you're a real fisherman. Then I decided to beautify the area around the villager's farm and also build a nice trading stall nearby. Dude, are you Batman or something? This village needs a new superhero. Anyway, thanks for guarding. Let's go ahead and finish building the trading stall. It looks fantastic. Then I took some potions and decided it's time to cure this zombie villager. But I realized I was out of gold, so I headed to the nether and built a small piglin farm. The rest of the day, I annoyed the piglin. <laughs> Altogether, I collected 30 gold ingots. Then I returned home, crafted golden apples, and started curing the zombie villager. I took the llama and placed it next to the camel, got back to the villager and started pulling him up, but this idiot decided to drown in the lava. I spent so much time on you and you just died. Transferring the villager didn't work out, so let's just finish exploring our chunk. And to make it more interesting, I'll just do it like this. 
Actually, I knew it would work, but still, I was a bit nervous. So the last biome will be the stronghold, or whatever it's called. We don't need these worms here. And here's the portal, and we've got three end eyes already. Where's the rest? Am I supposed to gather them myself? Why on earth should I be dealing with this? So we head back up, and before deciding to enter the end, I thought it's time to craft some proper armor, and now I'm almost ready, just one small detail left. After all, we didn't collect all those smithing templates for nothing. So now, thanks to the Minecraft developers, we're going to create our custom armor. Just you wait! Wow, it's amazing! I really love it. Well, then I went to search for Enderman, and when I entered the nether, a surprise was waiting for me. Hey, you came! Oh, wait, dude! I can't believe how awesome this armor is. Then I went ahead and slaughtered a ton of endermen, crafted 10 ender eyes, brewed slow falling potions, collected a bunch of wool, made loads of beds, and also took my one and only totem. So as you probably figured out, now we're gonna go kill the dragon. So let's jump down again. Ugh, why is this taking so long? Oh, no, 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 no! Yeah, well, little dragon, brace yourself. Caster is coming for you. Ah, yeah, our end dimension is also within one chunk. Pretty cool. Oh, and here he comes. Oh, what a beast. His HP isn't showing yet for some reason, but I think that won't stop us from taking him down. So let's pave the way to the neighboring island. What, again? Oh, darn it. No, 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 dragon, no. All right, finally here. What's inside? And inside we have Enderman hanging out. Sorry, but I need Ender Pearls. Okay, and then here we have, whoa, is this the dragon's effort or a shulker? Need to get higher? Oh, okay, thanks guys. With the help of strokers, I reached the top. Chest with just a bunch of junk. Yep, I'm running out of space. I'll have to make... Oh, oh, uh, what's going on here? So I made my first stroker box and started taking down the crystals. Wow, I feel like Neo. All right, we need to reach the center, so let's drink potions and go. Okay, I get it. I'm not making it. Come on, come on. Let's a little bit more. Come on. Uh... Yeah. Okay, finally we're here. Let's take him down without removing the crystals, and I think that's doable. Take this. <laughs> take it, you dirty bastard. Uh, huh? What? Ah, faster, faster, faster. Ah. Oh. All right, the fun's over. So then I started removing all the crystals, and some had to be removed manually. This was the last one. And then I gathered my courage and attacked the dragon with everything I had. Wow. Burn in hell, you bastard. We killed the dragon, and now we can finally build our last biome. And as you've already figured out, the last biome will be the end. And I already have all the materials, so let's get to the building. Um, I thought I had enough. So I returned to the end, dug up more end stone. Well, I took the dragon egg too. And then I returned and continued building the end biome. Ugh, and that was our last biome. Looks real, doesn't it? Then just for fun, I painted my shulker box and went back to the end to get some Elytra. So I hopped on the end ship, grabbed the dragon head, boom, took the Elytra, got back home, enchanted them, harvested some sugar cane, and made a few fireworks. And then I took off to see how our chunk looks from above. So let's remember one more time how our chunk looked before and how it looks now. Wow, so much of my work here. I hope it was worth it. If you've made it to this point, write Marco in the comments and I'll reply with Polo. Then I returned to the end and thoroughly searched the last stronghold, looted two end city chests, and collected various goodies. Back home, I hung the dragon head on the wall, crafted four more shulker boxes that I simply glued to the wall, and here we are on the 96th day and I'm kind of getting bored. So I started watching various YouTube videos and found this portal in the nether shaped like a sword. I decided to build something similar in our nether biome. So I started gathering the necessary materials and jumped into the nether to collect obsidian blocks. I also began experimenting with shapes to make a small sword-like structure. All right, come on, let's take a look and... Darn it. What is this nonsense? Some crooked and ugly sword. We'll come up with something better now. And here we go. Well, much better now. Say it, ignite it, and dude, what are you doing? No matter how many times you try, it won't work for you anyway. But it will work for me. So we made a nice sword, and again, I don't know what to do next. Then I remember that according to the plan, we need to build a beacon. Yeah, well, there should be enough iron. Next, I headed to the nether, dug up four blocks of soul sand, and started farming wither skeleton heads. After that, I went to the end and began setting up a trap for the wither. Well, you sneaky devil. There he got stuck, so we just kill him. Yeah! <laughs> 
Wither was much easier than the dragon. Now we build a beacon and a bunch of iron blocks. Well, let's start building the beacon. And now there you have it, our beacon is ready. Not many days left, so I decided to add more details to our chunk and let's begin with a pen for the sniffer. But let's give him a name, so now you'll be our buddy. And next let's do it, we'll build a nice pen for our buddy in the style of the end biome. So buddy, do you like it? I'll take that as a yes. Also in many places I added fences, various blocks, and torches. And at the very end, I had another awesome idea. I was short on time, so I quickly gathered all the materials, built another platform, and started constructing a large, large block. Ronaldo, oops, my bad, a large TNT block. Uh, boom. Thus our survival journey has come to an end. We survived 100 days on a single chunk and managed to transform the small chunk into the massive village of Castor, complete with various farms, biomuseums, a beacon, and even a giant TNT block. And by the way, our TNT isn't just a regular TNT, it also has a surprise inside. Oh, was that? Green? Oh no, darn it! Ugh. That's it everyone, so goodbye.